Hey, what's up my Bronco peeps, my wild horses, my uh, stallions, ponies, wild ponies. Eh, let's just not do nicknames. Welcome back guys. Today, we're going to talk about a very common problem that Bronco owners run into. The problem I'm talking about is a malfunctioning door latch. Here's a scenario that depicts the symptoms of a malfunctioning latch. Imagine, you're walking back to your rig after taking a leak on the trail. You hear a snap behind you. You turn, you scream, a cougar is coming up behind you. However, you don't lose hope because your Bronco is close enough to get to you. You run to your rig as you hear the growl of the heinous cat coming up behind you. You reach the rig with a good amount of time to spare. You reach for the handle. With all hope and joy, you press the button. And nothing happens. Your door latch has malfunctioned. What happens next? We won't talk about it. Let's fix the problem. In all seriousness, it is an easy fix. What you want to do first is if you have your door panel on, go ahead and take it off. Mine is already off, but what you want to do is remove the three bolts from the armrest, the two nuts underneath the armrest that hold the handle on, and then you want to remove the window crank. Set all of those things aside and then carefully remove your door panel. Now what you want to do is get the rear window track out of the way. Make sure your window is rolled up, then unscrew the two bolts at the back of the door. If your window track is broken, now is a good time to replace it. A link to that part is in the description. After you've removed the track out of the door, you're gonna wanna unscrew the cap on the push lock and then reach it to your door and unclip each of the rods. I can't really show you this, but there are four clips in here. You guys will figure it out just like I did. Just look for those clips, unclip them. They're basically like throttle linkage clips. Correction. There's actually three clips that you have to undo right now. Alrighty, and we are good to go. Those clips, just so you guys kind of have an idea of which ones you're supposed to take off, the clips are located on the handle part right here, right up next to the push button stuff in the corner of your door, and then around where the locking mechanism is. Just take those ones off, and now what you want to do is unscrew the three screws from the back of the door. Now go ahead and remove the latch system. Once this piece is out, you are going to want to remove each of the individual rods, and then you're going to want to wash this piece extremely well. So I'm gonna sandblast this thing just cause it's gonna be the quickest way and I have access to a sandblaster. But for those of you guys at home that may not have access to that, just use a wire brush or any other method that you guys can think of to wash this thing pretty dang well. Once you guys get this all clean, I'll show you guys what to look for on this contraption. Yo, oh, sweet. I'm just gonna run some bright cleaner all over this thing, try and get as much of the little sand grit out as I can in all the moving pieces. Just check, make sure everything's moving smoothly. Oh, <coughs> that brake cleaner is harsh. Now if you soaked it in brake cleaner, like I just did, you're gonna wanna dry it all up as best you can using either an air tool or just a rag, get in there as much as you can. I hope you guys could understand that. Alrighty, now this thing's all dry. Now let's go show you guys what you're looking for. So guys, check out this spot on the latch. What tends to happen is this piece right here will start to get stuck in between that little space created right there. Also, if you look lower at this piece right here, that piece can start to get worn down over time just by use and that creates even more space. So when you do go to open up your door, that thing right there has to travel further down than it normally would. So this piece and this piece are a problem 
because as they tend to get worn down, it causes you to have to push your button in further, causing that stick, and eventually you will no longer be able to push the button far enough for your door to unlatch. Check that out if it's super worn out you might just want to get a new latch. The part number is in the description. If you don't want to try and fix this at all, you could totally buy a new latch. But if you want to fix this yourself, all you need is a pair of pliers. We're going to try the little needle nose pliers first. And what you're going to want to do is grab that little tab. And you're going to want to try to bend it away from that wall that it is rubbing on. Basically, toward this little bolt right here, you want to bend it. So just stick your pliers in there and work on bending that guy. So when you push this part as far that way as you can, that piece right there is not hitting that wall. So let me show you what I mean. You just bend that little tab. Now if you look closely, I have bent this piece over that way so that even when sitting against that wall, it will still make contact with this piece and push it down without getting stuck in that little space right there. After you've bent this piece, your problem should be fixed. I say should be because maybe one out of a hundred times, it is actually the button that you're gonna have to fix. But most of the time, it is this little flaw in the mechanics of the latch. So it'd be best to try this method first. It's super simple. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below. But just one or two more steps and you guys are ready to put this back in your rig. Now, if you have some type of lubricant, even WD-40 would work. What you're gonna wanna do is lube up any of the places where metal slides on metal. Work that grease in there. Now, clip your rods back on. Throw your latch system back in the door. Actually, one thing I forgot to mention, sorry, is before you tighten those things down, you do want to make sure you put your push lock rod in or else you won't be able to get it in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Boom, sweet! And finally, Close and open your door. The moment of reckoning. Let's do it. Woohoo! You can feel that thing. Huh? First off, sorry about the rain noise. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Anyways, there you guys go. You guys have fixed your Bronco door latch. Super easy fix. If your button works perfectly fine and your thumb likes the way that button feels, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and use that same thumb to click the subscribe button. As always, leave any questions and comments down below and we will be sure to get back to you guys. And now, with all of that being said, we will see you guys out there on the trail. Peace! Hey, really though, like this rain is gnarly. Shall we go play in it? Oh heck yeah! Psych! I ain't going out there, bruh. This is totally not worth it! I did it for you guys.